Welcome back, everyone. And happening now, dozens of Fort Carson soldiers are reuniting with their families this morning. Uh, the Mountain Post held a homecoming ceremony for about 240 soldiers less than half an hour ago. KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman is live at the William Reed Special Events Center and joins us with a very Good happy morning, John homecoming. John and Brittany, it's a very exciting moment right now for so many families. 240 soldiers just came home to Fort Carson, and right now this is Elias, and he is one of three triplets. He has two sisters here, and the last time their dad saw them was when they were just two months old. Uh, they did face some medical challenges. But they're doing just great. They are all just so adorable. You should have seen the smiles on their faces when they saw their father for the first time after eight months. And I'm joined by the parents right over here to my left. Oh, it's okay, honey. <laughs> this is Pete and Dania. And again, um, you were deployed in February, so it's been eight months. Describe how it feels right now to kind of make the picture complete uh, with your family. Uh, it's, it's overwhelming, but it feels really great to be home. Gotcha. And how what how were those eight months? I mean, that's got to be tough. You left Donia here with her with triplets. That had to be really difficult for you guys. It was hot. It was sandy, but I'm pretty sure it was harder on her than it was on me. Uh, so. Gotcha. How are you feeling, Donia? Um, it's overwhelming. It's a lot of emotions, but complete, complete happy. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to let you guys go. I'm sure you guys have a lot of catching up to do, but uh, you heard it, guys. An incredibly emotional and exciting morning for so many families. 240 soldiers, so a very large group back home at Fort Carson today. For now, reporting live, Bonnie Silkman, KRDO News Channel 13. All right. Thanks so much, Bonnie. Oh, the triplets are adorable, too. <laughs> Happy homecomings this morning as we send things over to Storm Tracker 13's Abby Oconee for your forecast. Oh, my gosh.